Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how we can resize a Linux partition if we have a dual boot system with Windows here on my C drive. And here's my Linux partition, Linux Mint. And this has a size of 22.53 gigabytes. And we want to assign more disk space to the Linux system. For example, if you run out of space for a Linux system, we want to share some more space here from the C drive to with our Linux tool. Um, we will do that with the free software GNOME partition editor. It's an ISO file you can download from the internet for free. And all you need in addition is a USB drive where we put the ISO on, make a bootable USB drive, and then we will boot from the USB drive and do the repartitioning because with these Windows tools, you cannot do the resize of Linux partition because, uh, well, Windows doesn't allow to increase the size to the left side of the partition table and it also cannot work with Linux partitions. Okay, so we will use Gparted and in the first step, we will have to download Gparted, uh, the GNOME partition editor and put it on a USB drive. Let's do that. Okay, let's create the USB drive. First, we have to download the Gparted here. Click on download and then you can download the ISO file here. Most likely you will need to get the 64-bit version if you have a very, very old computer. And I mean really, really well, very old. You download this version here. Okay, I've already done that. Uh, the ISO file is here. And in order to create a bootable USB drive, we need the software Rufus, which you can download from rufus.ie. Just download the portable version and start it. I've already done that. And I've started Rufus. And here is my ISO file of Gparted. So first select uh, your USB drive here, select the correct USB drive here because all data is deleted. And I cannot stretch this out enough. Before you do anything with the partition editor, I will show in this video, do yourself a favor and make a backup of all your data and your system, just in case anything goes wrong. Okay, since the warning is out of the way, I've selected the device here. And now I have to select uh, my ISO file of Gparted and well, Basically, that's it. Uh, you can also select the partition scheme here for modern computers. Just select GPT. If this doesn't work and you have a boot error, well, then select MBR and recreate the USB drive. In my case, I have a modern computer. And so I select GPT and I only have to click start now here, which will bring another message here. Uh, it's where we are being asked in which mode we want to create the file. Usually I select here right in DD image mode. Um, the recommended option here, I sometimes had problems booting from the USB drive. So I select DD image mode. Okay, click OK. Uh, then we will get another warning and then our USB drive will be created. Okay, here's a warning, uh, all data on the device on our USB drive will be deleted. And okay. Okay, the USB drive is now created. And now we have to restart our computer and boot from the drive. Okay, I will do that. And then I will be back in a few seconds. Okay, I've connected the USB drive. And now I start my computer. And usually you have to hit a certain key in order to get to the boot menu. In my case, it's enter. It's often F12, F10, or even F2. So I have to hit enter here. And then I can go select a temporary startup device, which I will do. And here we go. Our USB drive should now show up. I select it, hit enter. And here we go. Here we can now start Gparted. Just hit enter here and start Gparted. Okay, Gparted is now starting and in a few seconds we should see some settings we need to do for the system. Okay, here we go. The first thing 
we just hit enter and do not touch the key map. It's not important. And now we can select the language uh, of the system. So just um, the defaults to English. So we just can hit enter or uh, type any number of langu language you want to use. And in the next option, we can uh, select the video mode or the command line mode, we select the video mode uh, that we have a gra graphical user interface. So it defaults to zero, so just hit enter. And then after a few seconds, it should start. Okay, here we go. We now have our system here. Gparted is automatically starting. So let's maximize this. And well, now we see basically the same we saw in Windows earlier, our partition partitions of our system. Here's our C drive, our Windows partition, and here's our Linux partition. We want to increase in size. In order to do that, just right click here on the Windows partition and select resize move. And we have to make it a little bit smaller. Click OK uh, or resize. And now we have here unallocated disk space we can use for our Linux partition. Nothing is yet written to the disk. Um, only if we click apply here, these changes are made to the disk and permanently. So if you do an error here and you don't click this button here, everything is fine. Okay, right click here on the Linux partition, resize and remove. And we now move this here to the left and increase the size that it now uses all available disk space we have just unallocated here, resize. And now we get a warning. And this is what I mean with make a backup before you do that. So we are moving a system partition and he wants us that the operating system might fail to boot. I did not have this problem yet in the past. However, it's a legit warning. So in case anything goes wrong, have a backup. Okay. I hit OK. Here's now our new partitioning and we have now apply that to our disk, apply operations here and another warning. And now we click apply again. And now the partitions will be resized, moved and the changes are written to the disk. For example, you can see here now that the data here from our Linux partition is now copied or moved to a different location on the disk. So this whole operation might take a while, depending on how, how much data you will have to move. So uh, let's skip this part where we have to wait. Okay, the operations have now finished and now we close this window here and then we will have a look if our operating system, Linux and Windows are still booting. Uh, so we have to restart the computer now. Okay, the good sign is our boot loader, our boot menu is still working and shows Linux and Windows. So let's first try out Linux and it's working. So let's start a terminal and see how much disk space we have available now. And as we can see now, our partition here is increased by the size we just configured in G parted. So we now have more space here available for Linux. Okay, let's have a look to Windows if this boots up as well. Okay, let's start Windows now here from the boot menu and the Windows logo appears also a very good sign. And here we go. Windows has started. Let's have a look to the disk management. And now we see our new partition sizes here. Our C drive is now a little bit smaller and we have more space assigned to our Linux partition. And that's how you can increase the size of your Linux system if you have them both installed on the same drive. Um, if you want to assign more disk space to your Linux partition, you can do that with Gparted. And I also recommend before you do anything, do a backup of your data. Usually it never went wrong when I did it. However, just in case, have a backup. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.